Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this look for you. It is a soft, everyday kind of glam, natural, dare I say the word, it's not very natural, but this is what I deem a more natural look, but glam. Natural glam, not like a heavy glam, natural. This is a look that I absolutely love. I did this pink gray lip, which looks really pretty. And I did this soft brown smoky liner, which I love. And you can wear this look with any lip color you want. If you want to amp it up for fall, go deeper on the lip. You most definitely can, and you'll be fall ready. I honestly never wear pinky colors like this, so I wanted to do something a little bit different for me, and I absolutely love it. I've actually been really into this lip color. You will see the lip pencil I use that I've been wearing every single day. I fell in love with it, and it's the first time I used it in a video, and I haven't even hauled it for you guys yet, so. You will see that. If you wanna see how I created this look right here, then just keep watching. Just going to start off with the Smashbox Primerizer. I'm using two primers today. But it looks yellow around my brows. It's just the concealer. I did my brows prior. And then for pores, I'm going to use the Lancome Blur and Go. I'm just going to apply this on my nose and the sides. I haven't filmed in so long, it feels like because my kids are sick and then I got sick. And then for foundation, <laughs> still sick. And then for foundation today, I'm just going to use my Dior Forever Perfect foundation. And I have two shades. This makes my perfect match for color because number 10 is much too light and 21 is my self tan shade. So I'm just going to take a two to one ratio, two pumps of 10 to one pump of the 21. Just going to mix that all together and I have the Wet n Wild P55. For concealer, I'm going to be using my KKW Beauty Concealer in shade five. I'm scraping this one. I did get a backup of this already, but I'm trying to use this up. I have another empties video I wanna film pretty soon. I'm getting a lot of empties. So this is quite yellow, but it helps counteract all the redness in my skin, which is even more apparent in photo and video, I find, the redness, because it doesn't look that bad in person. I just feel like the red is really pronounced on camera. To set my under eyes and the rest of my face, I'm just going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. I'm just going to press this in with my sponge. And bake my under eye. And just take time and press the powder into the rest of the skin. Now I'm just going to take my Wet n Wild bronzer and you're dragging me down. It's been my favorite bronzer lately. I'm just going to lightly bronze up the skin. Probably should be doing fall makeup, but I saw this makeup look and I really wanted to do something similar. I'm going to clean up that bronzer. A little bit of powder. I'm still getting over a sore throat. But I wanted to film a look for you guys. So I apologize if I'm not so chatty. I just really wanted to do this look. And I'm like, you know what? You're feeling a little bit better. You gotta film now before you get sick again. <laughs> Cause I swear it's like we always get sick. Once Alex starts school, it's like constant sickness. <laughs> Using my Dior Glow Face Palette, I'm taking a little bit of that pink shade. Do a nice light pink cheek. This adds a little bit of a glow. Then Zoeva came out with this, almost hit me in the face. <laughs> Zoeva came out with this really cute brush set. They're all night long collection and they have five brushes in the collection and they have my Zoeva 109 face paintbrush, which is my favorite brush of all time. And they have a couple other ones in here. 
which I'm going to use. So to contour my face, I'm taking my Dior Backstage Contour Palette. I've just been loving that Dior collection. You guys know if you saw that video. I still use this every day. I use this every day on my eyes. A little bit harsh. This side is looking quite harsh, but we will fix that. It's going to redo the sides of my nose. And then just going to bake down the center. Along with that, all night brush set, they have this palette, which I really wanted to use the colors in here. I just loved all the mattes in this palette. They have a ton of matte browns, which I find really pretty and useful. This is looking more warm than I wanted. So I'm actually gonna start off a little bit cooler and I'm gonna go in with that shade I contoured my nose on a 228 Luxe crease brush from Zoeva. Before I start on the eyes, I'm just going to use a little bit of scotch tape for this look. Looking down in my compact, I'm just going to take that color we already put on the brush and we're going to place this into the crease. You can go over the tape too, that's just going to create that nice clean edge. This is why I use this contour palette on my eyes because it just gives such a nice blend. I'm going to take a little bit of this color mixed with that gray just to cool it down ever so slightly. Then I'm going to buff this into the outer corner a little bit and then the lower crease. Taking a clean brush, I'm just going to dip into that contour color and just buff everything out. The real focus on this look is going to be the eyeliner. We're going to do a nice smoky brown wing. Taking a 232 Luxe Classic shadow brush, I'm just going to use a little bit of the Laura Mercier Glow Powder. I have a little deluxe sample of this that I've been using. And I'm going to clean up the lid space with this. I didn't want to do a full on cut crease, but make it soft. Taking a brown liner, you can smudge 317 wing liner. Just going to take a little bit off here. This is the Mark Dusk Till Dawn Waterproof Eyeliners. Love these. Run it close to the lash line. And then you can drag it across the tape. So it creates that Clean line. We have more on the tape than actually was right there. Creating a wing like that. And before it dries down, I'm just going to want to take a smudger brush. And I'm going to use that shade right there and just smudge out that liner. What are you guys watching on Netflix right now? I want to know. Or TV in general. I just have Netflix. And season 8 of Walking Dead came on. So I'm watching that. Still watching Shameless. Gotta get through that. Love that. Grey's Anatomy. I burned through This Is Us season 2. I really want to watch Handmaid's Tale, but they don't have that on Netflix Canada. Why? I'm just going to remove the tape. That gave us a nice smoky eye it did remove some of our concealer so we're just going to have to clean that up but it's nice and thin has a smokiness to it and i got a dot under here somehow so we're gonna clean that up too clean up under the eye Using that smudger brush, I'm just going to bring some of that color underneath the eye. So 
I find this eye is looking a little bit harsh in there. So I'm just going to take our contour shade and soften that edge up a little bit. It's bothering me. I think that already made it look better. Then to highlight the brow, I'm just going to take this highlight shade and then put it underneath our brow bone. Very nice. Then with a little bit of our setting spray, I'm just going to spray a pencil brush. I've had this for a while, but haven't tried it out. It's the Milani Make It Last. So we're trying it out today. I'm going to take this white shade in the palette. I'm obsessed with this color. You'll see this in another tutorial. I'm obsessed with it. I'm just going to put it on the inner corner. Then we're going to curl our lashes. This is my Shuamura Super Mario Brothers collection eyelash curler. It was limited edition, but it's my favorite thing ever. <laughs> and speaking of Super Mario Brothers, I just got Super Mario Party for a Nintendo Switch. And I'm going to be playing that after we are done here. For Super Mario Party, can you guess who my character is? I want you guys to guess. I'll let you guys know in like a day or so. Guess who I am during Super Mario. I hope you guys can guess. And let me know who you are when you play Mario, if you play. Then for lashes today, I'm going to be using the Coco Lashes in Carry. These are really pretty lashes. I actually need to place an order with Lady Moss where I get my Coco Lashes soon because I ran out of my Queen Bees. I need more. elephants in my house. Every time I keep looking at my monitor, it's 11-11, two times now. Now for underneath my eye, I'm going to try out this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I used it when I had one that was shattered, but I did get a new one of these. So I'm gonna see how this works using a Zoeva 111. Then for highlight, I am going to use that white, and if I need to, I will add a little bit of that gold. This is a Zoeva 134 Lux Powder Fusion. For lips, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner. I just picked this up from Sephora. Haven't even hauled it yet. And I've been wearing this every day all over my lips to the point where I probably should just get the lipstick. <laughs> and then to lighten it up and make it a little gray, I'm using the shade Corset from the NYX Lip Lingeries, which I love. Then to complete the look, I'm going to use my Milani Make It Last setting spray. That was really aggressive. <laughs> Just shot myself in the eye and ruined my whole makeup look. Mm, it smells good. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I had so much fun creating it for you. I like to create looks that I actually wear. Something like this eye, just with a soft brown smoky wing, you can wear with any lip color. And that's kind of how I've been wearing my makeup lately, just keeping it really simple on the eyes and then just adding a pop of color on the lips. I hardly ever wear pinky colors like this. Rarely ever do you see me in pinks. I think I'm gonna try and wear it again just with a deeper color on the lip just for the fall season. So if you wanna do that, by all means do that. I think it's perfect for fall, any time of the year really, this kind of look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.